Whether we are there or not, ITSP Magazine still gets the best stories. Plenty of conferences and events spark our curiosity and allow us to start conversations with some of the world's brightest minds. In person or virtually, Sean Martin and Marco Cipelli go on location and sit down with them at the intersection of technology, cybersecurity, and society. Together, we discover what the synergy of these three elements means for the future of humanity. Here we are, we're ready for another seven minutes on ITSP Magazine. This is Sean Martin coming to you from Sector in Toronto, Black Hat event, uh, bringing together the cybersecurity secu community from Toronto and beyond here in Canada. I have to say the, the community is strong. And uh, speaking of the word community, I had the pleasure of going to the community lounge, which was uh, buzzing with lots of uh, amazing people. And I got to make some new friends there. And uh, two of them are Vasu Dagapati and Rushmi Hasham. There we go. It's good to meet you both. It was a pleasure chatting with you earlier this morning. And your organization is um, fascinating to me. A lot of good work you're doing in, in three areas, which you're going to tell me about. Uh, quickly, a few words about you and your role. Uh, All right. and, uh, Rashmi, we'll start with you. <laughs> Thank you. Great meeting you today, too, Sean. Uh, I'm Rashmi Hashem. I'm the Director of Strategic Partnerships at the Rogers Cybersecure Catalyst. Welcome. And joining me is my colleague Vasu. Vasu Dagapati, Manager of Strategic uh, Partnerships and Investment at the Rogers Cybersecure Catalyst. Great to be here, Sean. Thanks. Ah, it's a pleasure to have you both on. Who wants to give the overview of, of the Rogers uh, <laughs> Cyber Catalyst? To I start? can get it started, All and right. Vasu can tell you more. So, the Rogers Cybersecure Catalyst is a non for profit owned and operated by Toronto Metropolitan University. We serve as the university's national hub for cyber education and a lot of other areas, which Boss is going to tell you more about. Sure. <laughs> I think if we can summarize the, what the work that the Catalyst does, in it's really three areas. We're a center of training, and we train individuals in how to become cybersecurity professionals. We give them the credentials they need to become employable in the market. Uh, we train organizations in how to be cyber safe, uh, testing their incidents response plans, teaching them what to do when they do face an actual cyber threat. And then we train uh, cybersecurity founders uh, in helping them bring their cybersecurity specific innovations to market so that we can make sure that we have the, the latest and greatest and most innovative uh, solutions helping keep uh, Canada safe. And by extension, the rest of the world, hopefully. Look at that, yeah. As I, I mentioned the community lounge. There's a panel going on. Um, a person transitioning from nursing yes. to become a security analyst. Really cool story. Hopefully, Gino uh, will join me on the podcast at some point to tell the story in full. But that's an example of some of the work that you're doing. Um, can you describe that program a little more, the, the education piece? When we take a look at cybersecurity, we first started off by asking ourselves the question, who is not represented in cyber? And we looked around and we said cybersecurity skills and talent shortage can be addressed by bringing diversity and diversity of thought, diversity of experience, uh, diversity beyond gender and race. And we started to look at individuals such as Gina, uh, a labor and delivery nurse who said, I am tired of this and now I want something exciting and came into cybersecurity and is thriving in that field. Uh, she came into what we call our accelerated rapid training program. Individuals who are in a midlife career change are not ready to make a commitment to a four year degree. They wanna make rapid change get into rapid employment opportunities, and be able to quickly establish themselves in their new profession. So our training programs really focus on how do you gain those skills that are going to get you not just started, but give you an accelerated start so you can get into those rapid uh, specializations that industry is looking for. So it's a seven-month program, and it helps individuals to gain key hands-on skills uh, with in collaboration with the SANS Institute, the world's most recognized and trusted uh, cybersecurity uh, training. Really pleased that they're our partner, but also we have catalyst programming built in that allow for individuals to 
uh, know how to transition their skills from other careers. What does cybersecurity really need? What is the global posture in cyber, uh, cyber business acumen, and career skills? because we need to transition. So you package all of this up and you have an individual who is cyber job ready. Yep. And the important point uh, before we move on, and she, she got a job. She right? got a job. It's all for naught if you don't yes. actually get to well, apply it somewhere. It. We've right. had the pleasure of training a thousand individuals, yep. the Canada's largest upskilling, reskilling program with a 85% placement rate. Like we Fantastic. know it works. Yep. I met a few of them, and there were even more hands raised in the community launch today That's, I saw as well, alumni. Yeah. Um, let's shift uh, to the, the, the security training. And I think it was a uh, gentleman I met this morning, I can't remember his name, does the, 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 the tabletops. Yes, Lester. Lester, Lester there. Yes. Yeah. Um, so talk, I think that's probably sure. one piece of the, the broader thing. Well, what, you know, it's interesting, here? just to, to, to dovetail on, on we're, what we're talking about, when you create brand new cybersecurity professionals that are filling the talent gap, organizations come up to you and say, hey, I need those kinds of individuals in my organization. Mm -hmm. And once they're in that organization, they say, okay, having this individual there is not enough to keep me cyber safe. I need to create a whole of organization mentality on making sure we're, we all have a stake. In, in, in keeping ourselves secure. And so that's really where uh, the corporate training takes over. And, it's, and it does everything from non-technical uh, training, where we do tabletop exercises, mm -hmm. mainly for the C-suite executives and decision makers to be able to say, OK, when I'm faced with a cyber threat, who do I call? Do I call law enforcement? Do I call insurance? Do I call my lawyer? What do I tell my clients? When should I tell my clients? Mm -hmm. Do I put out a press release? What does that press release say? And it's really forcing them to think about all of those different aspects of a response to a cyber threat before it happens. And then, you know, just to take things a little bit further, we have our own cyber range in-house where we build a virtualized network environment that mimics what clients see in their own production facilities and they get to play with malware like real live malware except it's on our system so if it breaks <laughs> nothing happens to their their systems and and that's a huge value for them to be able to train their technical staff that's fantastic and we're coming up on the end it's, it is seven minutes but I'm gonna make the last plug for you which is on the uh, investments in, in technology uh, obviously the, the third part of, of bringing security to the to the world to, to Canada and uh, maybe we'll have you back on to, to share a little bit more about that. Um, but that's seven minutes here on ITSP Magazine. Thank you Thank both. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Take care. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Sean and Marco's On Location event coverage conversations. Please take a moment to give the show a good rating and leave a comment. Remember to share this podcast with your friends, family, and colleagues. Come back for more conversations and follow Sean Martin and Marco Cipelli as they continue their journey toward redefining cybersecurity and society.